Hey guys, Animal Man here. Here's a goofy one for you. I'm in, uh, I don't know if I'm Duxbury or Kingston right now, but I'm outside Pork Bistro Restaurant. There's a sign right there for you. And uh, they have Eastern Prickly Pear cactuses growing here, which are an endangered species in my state. And this is one of the few places where I found them to grow. And I just went inside, spoke to the owner, Brian, and he's given me permission to pull some out to grow them in my yard, add to my garden. Because they are edible, every part of them is edible, which is kind of awesome. So um, they had a landscaping company come here and uh, yank them all up and dispose of them and they mulched over it all. That was in the fall, I think, but they're starting to peek back through and he told me I can yank whichever one's out that I want and I'm actually helping him because he doesn't want them here. So look at, got some babies. There they are, coming back up. Any parts of the roots are left here, they just start to uh, to reappear magically. So, need some gloves and we've got a bucket. Definitely need work gloves for these because these things hurt. They've got little hairs and they mess you up. All right, so we're just gonna gently work it out of there. Try to get some of the roots so we don't shock it too much. And here it is. Put it in the bucket. And I'll wet these all to bring them home. I'm just gonna cover this up so I don't mess up as nice mulch they put down. So I'm gonna go around and I'm basically gonna, he's getting a free weeding service right now. Check this out, here's another one. The little guy. Now some of these probably have come back from the roots that were left here by the landscapers. But I bet I'm gonna find some little seedlings too because the last time I was here they were fruits from the prickly pear full of seeds. And they call those fruits tunas. They're called tunas. Just like tuna fish. Um, and they're like a beautiful reddish fruit and they're edible. Look at that, it's got an old rotten one attached to it. So the tunas are left here and they're all buried and eventually they're all gonna start sprouting up new cactuses too. So wouldn't shock me to see some of those around either. Up in here's one growing up in the shade. Right in there. Look at that little devil. It's peeking out. And uh, yucca was the other thing. This was like a whole desert landscape before. And same thing. Any little pieces of roots? Look, this is all new yucca starting to come up. They're going to have to try to get that out of there again. And these are so resilient these prickly pear. Normally you find them at the beach, but even at that, they're still very, very rare around here. I've only found them in maybe, this is probably like the third place I've ever seen them. And I found them in Mass, and I've also found them in New York. But they're rare. And they grow in little colonies. So look, these three, let me zoom in on this. Three of them right there. Well, those are all brand new baby ones growing from seeds that were buried from the tunas. So these are definitely little seedlings. Look at that little taproot. Just gonna cover that up. Oh, this is so exciting. Look at it. He's got a huge root. I'm so grateful for this guy, this is awesome. Tell you what, I've never eaten here before, but uh, poor Bistro guys, the owner's nice to let, let me do this. I was talking to one of the cooks, out. he was out back having a break, and I just walked up and I was like, hey, I got a funny question. Gotta ask you about those cactuses, and he said, just walk right in, talk to the owner, and I did. It's not every day, uh, Whack job wearing a cowboy hat walks in asking to pick your cactuses for you, so uh... <laughs> I do, I ask people weird things like that all the time, you know, can I uh... Can I cut some of your bamboo? Can I take your cactuses? Once they get past the, the shock, they're usually very nice to me. Alright, so I'm super excited now. So I'm gonna wet these to transport them back to my house in the bucket and then we'll uh, 
We'll plant them. Hopefully they won't shock too bad, but these things are very, very tolerant. They're tough plants, and uh, they may shock a little bit, but they'll start to grow pretty quickly too. So, awesome. Very excited.